Let's start off with the Thursday night game. Chiefs at the Chargers. Chargers are a three-point dog at home. Total of 52. The Chiefs are 0-3-1 against the spread their last four against the Chargers. Uh, Chargers 5-1 and one against the spread their last six against the AFC West. And they are kind of rolling right now. Now, the, the competition has been a little less than great. The Chiefs 4-0 and against the spread in their, their last four games. These are two teams that are kind of on a heater a little bit over the last few weeks. They are playing really, really good football right now. When I look at this, I I think that the Chargers have been playing better than the Chiefs. I think the Chiefs' success has been, it's it's tough to say smoke and mirrors. Obviously, they have figured some things out, and the defense is playing significantly better. I don't think that they've played anybody as good as the Chargers at this point. Now, That's I can the say issue. That is, where, what yeah. do we think of the level of competition of the teams that they've beaten? Like, they beat the hell out of the Raiders, but... Congratulations. A lot of people have done that recently. Yes. Yes. Like that was a team that started off good and obviously they're not anymore. I think I think I'm with you. I like catching the the points because I think this is going to be a close game. I I am a little bit worried that I think this is going to be one of those Chiefs home games in 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 LA. Chargers have no draw whatsoever and you know, if you live in Kansas City and you have a week to take some vacation time and go to LA, when it's snowing its ass off right now in Kansas City, La La Land don't look too bad. Talent-wise, I, I do think that the Chiefs have turned a corner. Uh, offensively, they're they're doing some things that that we kind of expected all along, but we haven't seen yet. And so I'm I'm curious to see, you know, how far that goes and how you know, I guess what that ends up finishing like. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm with you. I. I like the head start. I think Justin Herbert has been playing incredibly well. Overall, DVOA, Kansas City number 7. The Chargers are number 11. The Chargers offense is number 3. And that Kansas City defense, which was at one point the worst in the league, is all the way up to number 17 in DVOA. Unbelievable. Now, part of that has to do with how poorly the Raiders played last week. Uh, but the defense was a, a big part of that, right? That's so right. The defense has been good for the last several weeks. Like This is not a... Yeah. Uh, yeah, not a one time thing. thing. Not a one time no. thing. I, I think Chargers at home is the way that I'm going. I you know Kansas City. So let's let's run this down. Kansas City's last three opponents all scored nine points apiece. That's the Raiders. That's the Broncos, two shit teams. That's also the Cowboys. And then before that, they played the Raiders again. They were four, scored 14. You got the Green Bay without Aaron Rodgers, only scored seven. That's no big deal. And the Giants at 17. So they haven't played anybody with a good offense except for Dallas in the last what, what was that seven weeks? And and Dallas so, was without a who it was uh, without. I don't Amari remember Cooper. who was out at that yeah. point in time, but but Dak was there, Zeke was there. Like you gotta you gotta win that game, or you gotta damn sure score more than fourteen. So so we're both rolling Chargers plus three on that one. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.